Unlocking the mystery of a scrutinizing gaze. Hello, and welcome to our English learning journey. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase that often puzzles learners, a scrutinizing gaze. This phrase is rich in imagery and meaning, and understanding it can significantly enhance your English comprehension and expression. So, let's unravel this together. A scrutinizing gaze consists of two key components, scrutinizing and gaze. To fully grasp the phrase, we need to understand each part. Scrutinizing. This word comes from scrutinize, which means to examine or inspect closely and thoroughly. When you scrutinize something, you're looking at it very carefully, trying to notice every little detail or perhaps find something that's hidden. Gaze. A gaze refers to a steady and intent look. Unlike a quick glance, a gaze implies that you're focusing your sight on something for a longer period. Put together, a scrutinizing gaze is a deep, intense look at something or someone where you're trying to discover more than what meets the eye, possibly to understand something better or to find hidden truths. Understanding when and how to use the phrase, a scrutinizing gaze, can add depth to your English communication. Let's explore some contexts. 1. In literature, writers often use this phrase to describe characters in a story who are trying to uncover secrets or understand someone's true intentions. 2. In everyday conversation, you might describe a teacher or a boss having a scrutinizing gaze when they're looking at your work indicating they're examining it very closely. 3. In professional settings, in interviews or meetings, someone might give a scrutinizing gaze to assess credibility or to understand a complex idea better. Understanding these contexts will help you not only comprehend when others use this phrase but also enable you to use it appropriately in your conversations or writing. Imagine you're in a museum, standing before a mysterious painting. You lean in, narrowing your eyes, trying to catch every detail and shade, wondering what the artist truly meant. This intense, focused examination is what we call a scrutinizing gaze. It's not just looking, it's seeing beyond the surface. I hope this exploration of a scrutinizing gaze has illuminated its meaning and uses for you. Understanding such phrases enriches your English, allowing you to express complex ideas and emotions precisely. Keep curious, keep learning, and remember, every word and phrase is a new adventure in language. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next journey together. Happy learning!